What's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday. It's like, it's Tuesday. Um, You know what that means? It's Testify Tuesday. That's what that means. So I was like, what am I going to share today? Uh, nothing came to mind, right? So then I just started thinking about my life uh, today. And so... Um, okay, backstory, which kind of deals with, with my testimony, and then I have something else to share. So, backstory. Um, so, shooting, so I'm a part of this series called the Wit Series, and um, something I noticed last season was, was that I, I can be extremely self critical, right? And I noticed it when my partner was like, my partner Zach was like, um, we was watching the film back and he was like, wow, you're really critical. He was like, you're doing really good. So I was like, whoa, hmm. So during the season, I um, I started, uh, I had notes on my bathroom uh, mirror that I would just quote to myself every day. And um, I think... I think my my self-criticism comes with uncertainty, right? So I would speak, you know, I'm an actress. I'm a director. You know, I would just speak these things every day. And it would give me more confidence, right? So um, within a season, that's my testimony, honestly. I felt like last season, the Lord really um, blessed in the way of me feeling more confident in my ability and um, not being as critical on myself. But I feel like that's a self-awareness thing. And those critical thoughts, I feel like, come to everybody's mind. When it comes to something new, um, something you might not be as experienced in, but you know you're good at. You know you're good at. Um, it could be anything, right? And so after season, I just got back to my regular life, you know, um, writing, shooting skits, uh, X, Y, Z. But what I want to talk about is I've been researching ego, right? The ego. And um, what I learned, I'm, I'm just going to read the definition of ego. But uh, definition... So the ego is a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance, right? So I've noticed just in my day-to-day -day and, and um, cause honestly, I'm really trying to get to a different place in my life, meaning myself, um, like my higher self, not, not my body, not, cause I feel like we identify with our name like, that's my name, you know, um, your intelligence, your emotions. But I feel like um, your true self is what we all want to actually be, right? This is going to get deep and hopefully not weird. So hopefully you're still with me. So, and, and I don't rehearse these, so I don't be knowing what I'm saying. But anyways, um... So, like, for instance, <laughs> my true self is uh, extremely goofy. Um, I mean, I mean, when I make skits, I feel like my goofy is in words, but my true self is that, right? Even though I'm calm, have a calm demeanor and stuff, um, I feel like with different things with your true self, you worry about judgment, you worry about what people think, right? So even creating things, I create a lot. I write a lot, I film a lot. And um, I feel like connecting to your higher self, you have to, to have meaning. I hope this is making sense. Y'all low key, I'm still learning about this stuff on YouTube. So, <laughs> on YouTube. But, um, so, for instance, like, lately I've been creating a lot of stuff and I've been wanting to post more. 
because it's like, whoa, I, I would love to share these things to connect with people, um, these ideas. And but but my ego, my my lower self is like, no, nah, you don't need to post that much. Like you got to let people miss you. Like they gonna think you fully yourself. They feeding me all of this stuff. That's not a part of my identity. So you know what happens? I won't post. I, ah, and then you know it's like, <laughs> it's like um, you think about reception, like validation, like okay, well, uh, if I post more, I'm probably not gonna get that that much activity. Um, quarantine, uh, pandemic, this is all real things, and and that stops you, and it's all ego based. So. It's like even the ideas that we give others of what they will think, right? So if I post this, hmm, if I post this with my stomach showing, people going to think I'm fooling myself. They're going to think I'm just out here trying to do whatever. And I could really just be proud of working out. Right? So the idea of putting thoughts with people, that's ego-based because it's like, it's like you're examining yourself from a different perspective. It's crazy. But um, I don't want to make this too long. Um, my point in sharing all this, hopefully I, I um, share what I was supposed to. I, I, I could just keep going. But my point in sharing all this is um, I feel like to have true joy and live free within within this host we've been given, right? Because our spirit is eternal. And and this host is, is temporary. We got a timeline, right? But after that, things are still popping. I feel like to, to enjoy uh, this host, you really have to um, monitor your thought life and how much um, your ego can self-sabotage who, who you really are right the ego says get in place don't don't do nothing out of the ordinary you don't want to draw attention more attention to yourself just relax but your true self is like man i really want to express this i know i know somebody can relate or you know man it's such a good idea oh my gosh i want to share this but uh i posted that already I, I, let me wait till next week because statistically or whatever Right, and that, and that's for anything. It could be um, you starting a business, like oh, this got to be perfect, bro. I can't present this without it being perfect. Which obviously you want things in order, and I'm not saying just go out of order and stuff like that. But I'm saying you know that that self criticism can really um, be a hindrance. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this is getting long. Um, hopefully you all got something out of this. Um. I think my testimony is just starting to want to be more self-aware and creating um, a space within myself first to to show grace with myself, to be compassionate with myself and my mind and my thought life. Um, it's definitely a journey day to day. And sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. But I, I ain't going to stop fighting, though. I ain't, <laughs> ain't going to stop fighting, though. So... Hope y'all have a good day. Again, I don't want to make this too long. Peace and love and happiness and all that jazz. All right. Peace.